Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are well. I thought today it might be interesting to actually go back and revisit some of my least worn style purchases during 2021 and see if I can actually come up with some creative ways to style them and hopefully get more use out of them during 2022. Throughout today's video, I'm going to share the reasons why I initially fell in love with these least worn style purchases. Um, so what were the things that attracted me to the item? Why did I actually think it would work for me in my wardrobe and personal style? And I'm also going to try to create at least a three different outfit combinations for each of these least worn pieces to see if I can practically work it into my wardrobe and style for 2022. There's also a couple of pieces which I know that I'm definitely not going to be able to style. Um, so I am going to be sharing the reasons with you for those as well. If you love shopping your wardrobe or shopping your closet, if you love learning how to maximize your wardrobe with existing pieces, learning how to improve your personal style and just getting creative with styling different outfit combinations, then I really hope you find today's video inspiring and useful. Before we jump into the first least worn piece, I just did want to say a very big thank you to everyone who did provide styling suggestions or outfit combinations in my best and worst style purchases of 2021 video. I read through all of the comments and there were some really brilliant ideas there. So thank you so much and I've definitely taken on board a lot of the suggestions that were made. So taking a look at the first least worn item, which I'm going to try to make work. It is this pink cropped jacket from LK Bennett. And the reason why I initially fell in love with it, there are a couple of reasons. The first one is due to the actual design. So it is collarless and cropped. And a few design details, which I really love, are the pearls that we've got going down the front and then also on the sleeves. I really love the sort of Chanel-esque um, vibe that this jacket has going on. And I also think that this sort of raw um, trim that we have going throughout the jacket on the pockets and the collar and the hem and sleeves was just really, really lovely. I love tweeds and anything with pearls and I do love pink as well. So this jacket seemed to have everything in the one piece for me. I think this would probably best work with lighter colors in my wardrobe. So the colors that I tend to wear during spring and summer, but I can't see me really wearing this jacket during summer. So this is probably a piece that I would mainly use during springtime. I think pinks and whites and creams and even a light gray would actually work really nice. And I think that this would also look lovely over a lot of dresses as well. So I'm going to take you through some of the different outfit combinations that I've come up with four pieces in my wardrobe that I think this would work really well with. Okay, so the first outfit combination that I've come up with is using one of my dresses and this is a really lovely cream pleated dress. So we've got the sunray pleats on the skirt and then there's really lovely lace work on the bodice. I think popping this jacket on would really work with this dress because obviously the cream is a very neutral colour and I think that it's an overall very feminine and chic outfit which definitely aligns with my personal style. For the second outfit, I'm actually going to tie in some of the pink themes in the jacket and work that in in terms of the print on the skirt. So I'm using this floral pleated skirt, which I picked up from Ted Baker a couple of years ago. I really love the mix of different colors that we've got in the skirt and the floral print. And I just think that popping the jacket on over the top works really well. The skirt is quite high-waisted, so it doesn't leave a gap between the bottom of the jacket and the top of the skirt and I just think this is a really feminine and pretty outfit that I could definitely wear during springtime. The third outfit I'm going for something which I could actually use for work so wearing to the office so I'm taking a cream shift dress that I have worn to work a lot and I'm just going to be popping the jacket on over the top again we've got that really light or neutral color in the dress the dress is quite plain and simple in terms of the design and so I think the jacket just adds a really nice statement over the top 
And finally, because I really do love her pleated skirt or a pleated dress, I'm taking my white pleated skirt here and popping on a pair of heels and the jacket. Again, I think the jacket really stands out against the very simple and chic white pleated skirt. And so this is an outfit that I think I could definitely wear again, most likely during springtime. Now that I've created four different outfits with this jacket, I definitely think that this is something I do want to keep in my wardrobe. I wasn't able to get a lot of use out of this during springtime because we had restrictions here in Sydney um, and I simply wasn't going out a lot. So I think I'm definitely going to give this jacket another year in my wardrobe and see how much I can actually wear it during the coming springtime. Um, but this is a lovely piece and I can see that I do also have other pieces in my wardrobe that coordinate really well with this. I just had to get a little bit creative in terms of the styling. So the next least worn item in my wardrobe is something that I can't even show you guys because I've actually sold it. So it was the Cezanne James jumper and the reason that this was one of my least worn pieces was due to the style of it. So it was a very chunky oversized knit and I just felt that that sort of piece of knitwear just really didn't suit my height or my frame. I am quite short and petite and so anything that is too oversized can really throw out the proportions of outfits that I try to create. So this is a piece which I also think with the horizontal stripes and the oversized nature definitely didn't work for me. So that's why I've ended up letting it go to someone who will love it and get a lot more use out of it. So the next least worn item that I'm going to try to restyle are these pink pants from Reese. So these are a pink pleated design with um, we've got a lovely button tab detail on the waist and it has functional pockets, the sort of vertical seams down the front as well. And this is a cropped style. So when I initially saw this being advertised, the marketing or promotional photos for this particular piece by Reese, I fell in love with. So it was initially styled with a really um, light colored top, I think it was white or cream, and also a pair of sneakers. And I thought that was something that I could definitely see myself wearing and try and emulate in my own wardrobe. But I have found that I have not been reaching for these trousers since I've purchased them. So today I'm going to try to create some different outfits with pieces in my wardrobe. Let's see if I can actually get these trousers to work for me in 2022. Okay, so the first outfit that I'm going to create is I'm actually going to use the t-shirt that I'm wearing at the moment. This is the heavyweight tee from Arquette. And I'm going to pair this with the pink pants and also a pair of sneakers. I think for me, this is a look which could probably work very easily on the weekend or just a casual day-to-day -day look. I definitely like the combination of the bright white against the pink. And then we've sort of sandwiched the white t-shirt color with the very white sneakers down the bottom as well. I'm going to pair it with my Chloe Drew bag, which I think just dresses up the outfit a little bit more um, because the Drew bag is a little bit more fancier. So we're just uplifting the entire casual vibe of the outfit. The second outfit that I'm going to create is one that I think I initially thought of when I purchased these trousers. So I'm going to take another light colored top. In this case, it's my cream cashmere roll neck knit. And I think this also works in really easily with the color of the pants. I'm also going to pair these with a pair of block nude heels. So I really like the sort of height difference that the heels give me. I think that the heels also just dress up the outfit a little bit more and using a neutral colored handbag to tie in with the heels, I think, works really well. So for the third outfit, I'm keeping in with the knitwear theme and I'm actually going to choose a color which was really suggested by quite a few people in the comments on my previous video. So I really loved the suggestion of wearing a gray or light gray top with these pants. I think this works in really, really well. And I've actually 
decided to pair the white sneakers in this outfit. Again, similar to the first outfit combination, I think this is just a really easy one that I could wear if I was going to the shops or just going out for brunch, um, especially during autumn or springtime. I think this is just a really lovely and feminine outfit. It's not trying too hard, but I think that the color combination works amazingly well. The next Elise Worn purchase is one that I'm not even going to bother styling. So it is the Ralph Lauren cable knit short sleeved sweater. And when I initially purchased it, I was really attracted to just the very classic nature of this piece. I love a cable knit. I love the fact that this was in a bright white color. I knew I could work it into my existing wardrobe and just everything about the design really, really attracted me. Unfortunately, the fabric is really uncomfortable against my skin. It's a really sort of rough cotton. So I've only worn this a couple of times and it's not one that I am going to try to restyle because I know I I won't be keeping it. This is one that I'm currently selling at the moment. Um, so I won't be trying to create any outfits because I know that it is eventually going to be leaving my wardrobe. The next least worn item that I'm going to try to restyle is a pair of shoes and it is the Castagna Espadrilles. These are the shorter ones. So these are the 60 millimeters. And Initially, I purchased these because I thought that these would be a really comfortable shoe to wear, particularly during spring and summertime. The issue for me is because I am quite petite, I feel, um, or quite short, I feel that the ribbons tied around the ankles actually cut my legs off a lot. I'm going to steer away from trying to style these with dresses and skirts, and I'm going to try to see how they look with my denim. For the first outfit combination, I'm going to stick with the French inspired aesthetic and I'm going to take a pair of white jeans and my navy and white striped St. James t-shirt. There's a couple of things with this outfit which I think could be improved. I think that rather than having a pair of bright white jeans, if I was actually wearing a pair of cream or off-white jeans, that might actually tie in a little bit better with the ivory color of the espadrilles. But I don't currently have a pair of off-white or cream jeans, so I'm just trying to work with what I've got. Another thing that would be perfect and could improve this outfit is if the colour of the espadrilles were actually navy because then that would obviously work in wonderfully with the navy stripes on the t-shirt. But all in all, I think that this is a definitely workable outfit that I could wear. For the next look, I'm taking another pair of skinny jeans and I'm going to use a tank top as a base and then I'm going to layer it with a striped shirt. Again, this is from Ralph Lauren. I think this is a really easy, almost summery, nautical inspired look with the blue and white stripes. And adding in the espadrilles, I think works a lot better with this particular outfit for me. The espadrilles are really on show and they do contrast against the really dark color of the skinny jeans. But all in all, I think that this is definitely an outfit I could wear in future. For the third outfit, I'm going to use the same jeans and I'm just going to switch up the top with the white t-shirt that I'm currently wearing. So I think this is just a really incredibly simple look. This is probably my favorite out of the lot because I can definitely see that this is something that I would reach for in terms of the outfit. Usually I change up the footwear, but I love wearing a pair of blue jeans with a white tee. So I think just remembering to actually consider whether or not I could use my espadrilles with this sort of go-to outfit is a good idea. This is definitely my favorite out of the three. So moving on to another piece of knitwear, which was one of my least worn items during 2021. And it is this knit here from Reese. So the reason why I initially was attracted to this so much was because I really do love a roll neck knit and I also really loved the color. It is the lightest shade of blue, but it's almost got like a sort of um, very light gray mixed into it as well. I thought that this is something that I could really work in, particularly with sort of skinny leg denim jeans or trousers, but it just wasn't something that I ended up really reaching for. So I'm going to go back and actually see 
what are the different outfits I can create and how do I actually feel in those outfits. For the first outfit, I'm going to take my white skinny jeans um, and pairing it with the knit. So I think I really do like this combination because the jeans are such a light colour and I think they really work in wonderfully with the light colour of the knit. I'm going to pop on a pair of really fancy sparkly heels. So using my Valentino Rock Studs, these were another of my least used or least worn luxury style purchases for 2021. I really do like this outfit. I think that this is something that I would love to wear, um, particularly during the cooler seasons. Um, but I really do like the overall lightness of this um, combination with the white jeans and the blue knit. So taking my trusty pair of skinny jeans now and pairing it back with the knit, again I think that keeping the silhouette quite streamlined and slimmer on the bottom really helps to offset the oversized nature of the knit. I think again this is an outfit that could definitely work but I'm not sure that this knit itself is actually one that is going to be my first choice to reach for during the cooler seasons. The reason for that is I really do love my cashmere knits. I think they feel a lot softer against the skin and they're not so oversized either. So I really do like these I really do like these two outfits that I've created. I can't really come up with a third. Um, and I'm just not sure that this is a knit which I'm going to consistently reach for. I don't think it's going to be one of my top choices when it comes to knitwear. I definitely do prefer knitwear pieces like this. So this is a really sort of lovely cream cashmere style roll neck knit again from Reese but it's not oversized it's more in that sort of classic straight fit so it's not too fitted but it's not too bulky either this is the type of knitwear piece that I would choose every single day over the um, oversized knit so I really need to think about whether I might need to part with the oversized one during 2022. The next least worn piece for me in 2021 was this silk shirt here. So this is the Chloe one from Cezanne. It's incredibly popular. A couple of reasons why I initially fell in love with it. The first was due to the design. So it's incredibly feminine with the really lovely ruffle along the collar and neckline and down the front placket. I decided to get this in the white colorway because for some reason I'm always attracted to white tops and I thought that this would be very versatile and it could work in well with my existing wardrobe. As I mentioned in the previous video, one of the main reasons why I haven't really decided to wear this is I guess I've always looked at this piece to be more of like a work appropriate piece and because I was hardly working in the office in 2021, I just simply didn't reach for this as much as what I would have liked to. So what I'm going to try to do now is to see if I can look at this piece in a different way, to see if I can incorporate it more into a casual everyday style of look that I can actually get somewhere out of. So for the first outfit, I'm actually going to try to pair it with the pink trousers and see how that works. What I'm going to do with the silk shirt is I'm going to wear it with the sleeves rolled up in these outfits simply because I feel that rolling the sleeves up introduces a little bit more of that casual element that I'm trying to go for with these outfits. I really do like the combination of the silk shirt with the pink trousers and wearing the pair of sneakers again I think that just adds a little bit more of a casual element to the overall look. And I'm also sandwiching the pink colour in the middle with the white colour on the top and the bottom. For the second outfit, I'm going to head back over to one of my trusty pleated midi skirts. And I'm choosing the floral one again, simply because I think that the print on the bottom just adds a little bit of a point of interest because the blouse is quite plain up the top. And I think that again with the sleeves rolled up, this is something that could work very easily for me. It's something I could see myself wearing on the weekend as well. And there's different types of footwear options that I could choose for this. I'm going to pair this with a pair of simple nude heels because I think that looks the most elegant for these two pieces combined together. 
And for the third outfit, I'm trying to go really, really casual by choosing a pair of straight leg jeans. So this pair of straight leg jeans is also from Cezanne, one of their classics. And I think that with the sleeves rolled up again, it really does help me to be able to see this piece as being something that I can definitely wear with more casual pieces or that I can style in a more relaxed way. I have another silk blouse, which again was one of my least worn pieces during 2021. This is a little bit more simpler compared to the white one. So we've got very simple um, body here and the only detail is the open work collar there. So what initially attracted me to this piece was the fact that it was so simple and elegant in terms of the design with the lovely collar there. And I also wanted to get a blouse in a completely different color other than white. And I thought that adding in a very classic black blouse would work in wonderfully with my wardrobe. So again, I'm going to try to style this piece with the sleeves rolled up to introduce more of that casual relaxed element to some different outfits. So for the first outfit, I'm taking my black pleated midi skirt and I'm going to pair it with the blouse and I'm going to also choose the new Chanel sling back heels which I've recently purchased. I think that overall this is a really classic look. This is something that would definitely work for the office but I think it could also work especially well during the transitional seasons as well. I really love the sort of just very elegant and chic vibe of this entire outfit. It's incredibly feminine, um, but it's very simple in terms of the colors that I've used. For the second outfit, I'm going to go for black and white combination. So I'm choosing the white slip skirt, and this is one which, again, is in, in a midi length style, and I'm going to pair it with a pair of nude block heels. I think that this works really, really nicely. It looks very similar to the first outfit, but I've just introduced some different colors. Again, a very feminine outfit, and I really do love a midi skirt, so this is something which really does work in with my personal style. And for the third outfit, I'm actually going to try to work in the blouse with a pair of jeans. So taking a pair of straight leg jeans, I'm going to pop on a pair of heels just to sort of give a little bit more dressiness to the overall look. But I think that this outfit would also work wonderfully with a pair of loafers or even a pair of sneakers as well. This is probably an outfit that due to the denim being incorporated, I would wanna be wearing during the transitional season. So it's not something that I would currently wear now because we are in summer, but it is something that I can definitely see myself wearing during those more relaxed, casual days. We've gone through my least one style pieces during 2021 and I can see that I've been able to create some actual outfits that function well and that I can really get some use out of during 2022. It's very easy for me to stand up here and actually create different outfits but I actually want to monitor the outfits that I am using during 2022 and see if I am getting that cost per wear down on some of these least used or least worn pieces in my wardrobe. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I'd love to hear what you think about the different outfit combinations that I've come up with and shown you here today. There were some that I used from your suggestions as well. So again, thank you very much. And if you guys have any suggestions on alternative outfits that you think I could create using these least worn pieces, then please do let me know. Share your thoughts in the comments below as I'd really appreciate your help. If you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you enjoyed it and if you'd like to see more content like this from me in the future because I'd love to have you here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've all been having an amazing weekend and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye.